So we shall uh, call to order the meeting, the 28th of August meeting of the Callis Cemetery Commission at uh, 6.03 p.m. For the record, people here, myself, Michael Fullerton, the chair, Sherry Fitch, a member, Laura Daly, member, our sexton, Joe Mangan of Kirkyard Services, and the guest, Carrie Stoner, who's here to talk to us about volunteer work. So, uh, any additions to the agenda? Hearing none, uh, I will make one add. We are going to be more specifically discussing the Ainsworth Cemetery fence than we had planned because as we get to it, I'll tell you why. Everybody read the meeting, uh, minutes of the last meeting? The seconds, yes. Any changes? I'll entertain a motion to uh, approve them. I wasn't here. Second? Uh, second, sorry. Okay, all in favor? Mm -hmm. Aye. Aye. Good, so that's done. Uh, we have warrants to sign, which uh, two of us have signed. If you can sign those. C-A-R-R-I-S-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-
the suggestion of paying that that fee, the ninety eight hundred dollars for the corner post, the corner post installation on the endowments that are on the budget, and then throw the rest of the budget out of whack. Right. Because we agreed uh, two meetings ago that we would change our rate structure. So instead of having the money for the corner post become part of the endowment, we would make the lot buyers pay for those so we didn't have to take money out of our budget. So that's all been figured out. I will talk to Carrie Bradley when he comes back from vacation and see if they can get firmed up. All right. Hello, Sage. Sorry. That's your ear. Good. All right. Um, we have a guest here tonight, Carrie Stoner from Friends of Callis, and she wants to talk to us about getting volunteers to, to paint, at least to prime, fences. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to say about getting people to come up out of the trenches and help <laughs> us out? It can be difficult. It is. Um, so the Friends of Callis group evolved out of the parent-teacher neighbor organization at Callis Elementary School, which um, we uh, pulled away to become our own nonprofit with our own bank account, our own insurance, just so that we could independently function um, outside of the school system, which also makes us more of a community group than just focusing on the school. We still have pretty deep roots in the school system because most of our volunteers are also parents, but we have started to have more community events. We have one at the uh, Memorial Hall over 4th of July. We had a barbecue there. It was a fundraiser, very well attended. So we're starting to get more community members and email contacts. So the way that we recruit for our events is we have a 200 list email group that will send out to everyone, this is a volunteer opportunity, we need help, um, jazz it up, make it sound exciting, put it in smaller chunks of time so it's not a huge commitment for folks, usually less than two hours is what our events are. Um, so I was connected because Michael, you talked to Tegan, I believe, yeah. um, and she suggested you know we connect and see what we could do. Um, I've been working with uh, the Friends of Callis and the PTNO for eight years, so I have lots of experience with arranging and trying to drum up help. Um, and I'm willing to, if I have a, a date and a time and how many people are needed, then I can start writing a sign up and advertising on Facebook. And so it will go out and lots of, hopefully lots of people will see it and hopefully lots of people will sign up and we can get this done, at least whatever the commission feels should get done before the winter uh, months start, um, we, can, we can try. Good. So that's what I can provide. I just, I really just need details so that I can start constructing the ask for volunteers. So our first concern is to finish the priming of the fence at the Robinson Cemetery. So I think what we should do, maybe people will comment, is find out what dates some of us can do that on, and then announce it and see what kind of volunteerism we get. I have looked at the fence at the Old Reds Church, and I don't know that we're ever going to get the volunteers we need to paint that fence. That's an enormous, complex job to prime and paint that fence. And we may have to come up with the next year's budget that will allow us to hire professionals to go in there and do it, unless Joe wants to do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, we, we can try to act on this fall if we want to, but yeah. you know, we have to make room in the budget for it. And I think that's the whole... Right. Uh, I think what I would do is maybe solicit some bids and see what kind of bids we get, and then approach the town when we <coughs> put the next budget. It's supposed to be white. It's in a historic district. We have an obligation to do that. But I don't know that we can do it as quickly as we might want to. Has it been long enough for the paint to adhere? 
Say it again? Has it been long enough for the paint to adhere? Yeah, it's been over a year though, right? I mean, I thought it was yeah. a year. Oh, yeah. for the Old West Church, I thought you were talking about Cornelson. Yeah, yeah, for Old West Church. Yeah, it's a beautiful fence. It's yeah, it's been a year. It has been a year. Okay. okay. Could I just mention something as an aside with this? This is really cool. Um, when I first got involved in cemeteries in Calais, it was with my two boys who, you know, were in pre-K and first grade 17 years ago. And they did part of the Old West Church. And then May Lamb, I mean, I guess they're all older now, but like Alice Lamb was probably the youngest that anybody may remember, but May did it as her sixth grade project, the Ainsworth um, that's That kind of um, body of volunteers is, I'd like us to think about it, but we're probably at like five to six weeks max, right? From now until when mm, painting might be hard, I don't know. So weather sensitive. Yeah, but very cool. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's a great way for oh. either our elementary or middle school or high school kids to get back. Yes. So Alice um, graduated this year from. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. She's in she lives class. right up the road from us, and so uh, anyway, the, her older sibs were right around my kids. And when May did that for Ainsworth, and like everybody came out. So um, I'd love to try to harness it, even though it's hard. So maybe this first one, it could be a smaller job. Um, I would say finishing up Robinson Cemetery yeah. in some way, at least, yeah. A, a dozen or so people could probably do that in a matter of a couple right. hours. Yeah. <coughs> Are there enough supplies for a, for 12 people? There will be. Okay. Um, we have some roller handles, and I bought new roller heads as well, that belong to Kirkyard Services. And we can probably round up more handles if we need to. Have you got more? Uh, no, I don't think I looted my whole bin. So. Okay. Yeah, they're still in my cellar. If you ever need a back hauler. Yeah. I'll probably need to buy another gallon of primer, just to be sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we'll have the materials there. Okay. We could ask if people have rollers of their own to bring them. Mm -hmm. The, the four-inch ones. Four-inch. Yeah. Picking the date is going to be the hard part. Yeah. Really hard. Anybody here got a suggestion as to when that could happen? We're into September, obviously. I almost want to ask Carrie about what would be a reasonable date. Like, could it be a couple weeks from now for the rally? I think so. If we got, if I, if we have a solid date, I can start constructing the sign up and start getting it posted. Yep. Um, Saturday or Sunday. We have found the. We had three sessions over there, all on Sunday. First session, a lot of people showed up. Second session, three people showed up. Mm -hmm. And the third session, there were three of us. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if Saturday or Sunday is better for people. If it's a volunteer, I would suggest Sunday because Saturdays are, at least for the crowd, it's sports and it's soccer, football, cross right. country, um, and then Sunday afternoons are probably the best, I would hope. I don't know, you know, it's hard to say. Like, you can't paint, ex so the time frame too, you can't paint too early in the morning, you can't paint too far into the evening because of the moisture. Absolutely. So it has to be like a, a one to three yep, time works. frame. Sure. It's, not, it's not at lunch and it's not, you know, dinner time. If you could get started on that and come up with a reasonable date, let us know. We'll see how many of us we can get. The soonest I could do anything would be the 29th of September. 
Yeah. I, I think we should. It seems to be an interesting fact that uh, of all the members of the cemetery commission, yeah, none of us are sorry. churchgoers. Yeah. Have not shown up. But I no longer work on Sunday, so I can do that. Yep. That's um, cool. Yeah. So we get three or four of us to start with. Like, my thought would be the f Sunday the 15th or Sunday the 22nd. I know that sounds really right around the corner, but at the same time, one of our good... No, no, you're never going to find a great... A you're never going to find the yeah, sweet no. spot. No. So. So, Kara, you pick one of those dates and see how it goes and let us know. Okay, so am I choosing from the 15th, the 15th, the 22nd, or the 29th? Right. The yeah. 15th is that girl's weekend thing. I don't know if you're going to try it. It is, but like in the afternoon on Sunday, I'm not, I won't yeah. be able to be, yeah. I Don't think the 29th might be out. I think that's the fall festival, the Maple Corner oh, yes. fall that's festival. Right. And we, we won't yeah. get people. No. That's that, yeah. That's that Sunday. Which weekend is that? Unless it's like part of the events that are going on, which. Right. No. Yeah. yeah. No. All right. Imagine. <laughs> We're trying to paint now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. So that narrows us down to the 15th or the 22nd. Sure. And today, I the 15th could be doable. How does the 15th sound for the group? I mean, it's right around the corner, but it feels like, I don't know, early enough to, what do you think? If I'm going to be back from camping, I'll be up there. I am going to attend one, which is so sad. So I'm due, and I can probably some, but I love that the Friends of Cows is, yeah, thanks. And it's because my, Michael sent, I think, an email to you all, or in some, am I wrong? Just recently, like a week or two ago. You send me now to the Friends of Cows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There they are. Yep. Exactly. Are. Right? As yeah. can you to receive. So thank you, yeah. Michael, for doing that. Yep. What was that? And uh, Tegan is talking to her husband uh, about connections at U32 and yeah. getting a group from there to do something if it can be done. So right? this is uh, something to consider in the future as well. The sports teams sometimes do volunteer work. So my son plays football, and they last year worked on a park in Waterbury. And it crossed my mind, I'm like, wouldn't it be much better if our boys, and sometimes there's girls, but they came and worked on something in central Vermont. It's a big group, though. It's like 45 high school boys. Yeah, so girls. Fine tune painting, probably not a I do great say idea. The cross country team often runs the roads of Callis. You see those young people. Sure. Um, um, and the coach is yeah. a Callis resident, uh, Chris Cataret. Yep. And then the field hockey coach, um, Dylan Burns, is also a Callis resident yeah. as mm -hmm. well. So there might be some opportunity there. That's a really good as well. idea. Well, let's see what we can do with the Robinson fence. The uh, Old West Church is probably going to have to wait till next year. Yeah, let's but, get the Robinson completed. Yeah, That'd be awesome. That would be wonderful. Okay, anything else on that subject? Yeah, can I just make a suggestion? The primer oh. only thing lasts for so long on the weather. So if we just prime it, we have to put the paint on yeah. before winter for sure. Okay, so, so we so finish it, priming Robinson. We need to go there and paint that right off. Paint it. Yeah, because the primer only lasts so long on the yep. weather. Absolutely. Well, if we get enough people, some people Seriously. can finish the priming while other people start the finish paint. Okay. We'll yeah. see. All right. That's so the something first, we just want to clarify, <laughs> the first ask will still be on the 15th from 1 to 3, only 12 painters. Yeah, a dozen people should be able to do that Okay. based on what we did the first time. Okay. Because people could be doing... I mean, unless there's primer still to be done on sections, could be doing that other coat. Am I correct? Or there's more primer to be applied. Yeah, there's a section to be primed. Right, but that other part that's already been primed could be with it, right? The... I don't know if it's already been 
it's a yeah. second co. Yeah, so. we'll just have to see how many people we get. Yeah. Once we know, we'll buy the paint. Right. Good. Okay. Let's hope for the best. Thanks, Carrie. Yeah. So the one thing that I wanted to add was the, uh, anything else? No. Sorry, okay. Ainsworth Cemetery fence. I went by there today and there's large pieces of it lying on the ground. So it's rotting away. So I just suggested to Joe that his crew go over there and just take all that wood fence down and get rid of it. And it will look bare, but it won't look as bad as it does now. Is that a huge job, or will that hopefully just be a couple hours? The Ainsworth, that final. Yeah. I want you to be a couple hours for okay. five guys or so. so. Yeah. yeah. And then we have the discussion, as Joe just said, to put a new fence back there, a wood fence, is $5,800. That doesn't include the painting. Um, we've had this discussion before. We are not required to put back a wood fence. I know what the person to my left thinks about that. No, I'm open. I'm yeah. really open. We could, instead of putting a wood fence back for $5,800, just put a chain, which is what's around the rest of the cemetery. And that's perfectly traditional. There's cemeteries all over Vermont that have post and chain. And it would save the town a bunch of money. Because we're talking about painting these other fences, we're potentially talking about a lot of money. I think the uh, Jane Cemetery looks nice. Yeah, and it's just chain. Yeah, I think that looks really like. No, I do have to say I've come around. Because oh. because May Lamb, so that thing with May, that's the last time like we yeah. right. hauled it on that cemetery, and you know that's nine. 10 years ago, but no, it's like an elite, I'm trying to let go of, yeah. I love that cemetery, but I get it. And I think the other ones look great. Yeah, they look fine. So, um, Joe, maybe you can give us an idea what it would cost, just put that false chain up there instead. And that's something we might be able to do fairly soon. Yeah, yeah, just all the drill holes and put sinkers in and hold the chain. Yeah. To go from side to side. But it's that one. Can yeah. I ask to Joe, me, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, to be honest with you, I, it doesn't bother me either way. I mean, it, it seems to be the right way to go with a black chain because of the expense down the road. The expense now and the expense down the road. Right. Pay, pay every five years. right, right. So. Do you, you have a lot of pushback with other cemeteries that have done that kind of thing, the people in the community or people that own plots? No, actually, no. The like town marshal are ripping down all their wood fences now, but no black chain. So town don't feel the same thing. Um, so now it's the, the way to sort of go at this point because it's just the yeah. keys. And, and just finding the help to do the work, too, yeah. obviously. Yep. This is a hard, hard push. Good. And the other thing I had on the agenda was just generally discussing finances. I am getting from Terry Bradley a statement every month on where we are with money. And by next meeting, I should have a pretty clear picture of what we have, what's going out, what's coming in, and be able to keep closer track of our finances, which is something I don't think has been done a whole lot in the past. Uh, your contracts are fiscal year contracts, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're just into fiscal 24. Yeah. And we've already spent a bunch of money. I will know what we have. I'll know what we've spent. I know what's left on the contracts. Is the uh, the hedge trimming all done? Hedge trimming. Okay, so that's yeah, done. That's all done next year. So we got what's left of your mowing contract. And we know what that is. We got what's left of your sections contract. Yeah. And then I know what other money we have. And we'll know what we have available for other projects. Particularly if we are able to take the cost of all the corner markets you've just bought out of the endowment. That would be a big help. Yeah. Okay. Can we all get copies of the report every month? Yeah, when I figure it out, I'm putting together a spreadsheet and I'll just send it to everybody. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to do that. 
to see what this one is only partial. I wanted to talk to Carrie before the meeting, but yeah, you didn't get here to hear the fact he's fishing in Montana. I'm sorry. Right? I apologize. So I'll have that. All right. Um, anything else? Hearing nothing, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. A second. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned at 628.